hello today's little cactus is turbinocarpus pseudomacrocelli var minimus again turbinocarpus pseudomacrocelli var minimus very cute and unusual uh, little cactus from mexico this one is found at high elevations between three and five thousand feet south central mexico pretty much on the southern edge of the chihuahuan desert it's found in grassland kind of environments uh, with agaves actually um, and some mammalarias and other small trees it's not a very deserty environment where it comes from it is a rocky environment and it does it is a limestone excuse me endemic meaning that it only grows in a very small area on limestone soils it's kind of an unusual cactus. Um, it has this thick stem. You can kind of see that if I zoom in, where the all the other stems kind of connect. It's almost like a carrot-like rootstock, almost like a caudex. And then from that, we have these little immature, non-sexual stems, these little nubs. These are stems that haven't bloomed yet, and they have a different spination. Let's see if I can zoom in. There we go. They have a different spination than the mature heads that are flowering. The mature heads that are flowering have different spines, much bigger spines, and the stem itself kind of flares out. And you can see here all the small immature stems sprouting around the mature, uh, around the central mature stem. <laughs> Sounds kind of confusing, but the immature stems, their babies, pop up around that one. So it makes it kind of easy to propagate. This one you can propagate relatively easily by uh, pulling off a stem like this size here. Or even this younger one that was here. You could twist that off and start uh, a new clone or a new colony. So very nice plant. Um, I've had this one growing in this little pot for years. I'm not sure how many years, but it's definitely been over 10 years in this pot. This was propagated by a cutting that I made from a plant that I got uh, 10 years ago or more uh, from, I believe it was, uh, it might have been a Miles to Go again, another Miles to Go plant. So very nice. I like it because it's easy to grow, has the interesting character. It stays small. It can grow in these little small pots. This has a hole in it. It also blooms very often. I'm going to move it, look at it from the top. So we can kind of see those pretty little yellow flowers. Other varieties of Turbinocarpus, uh, Pseudomacrocelli, have, might have whitish or purple flowers, but Minimus has these yellow flowers that are a little streaked with some violet or pink. This is an endangered plant. I'm going to put him back. So you don't want to purchase plants that were illegally collected. This one was probably seed propagated by Miles a long time ago. Um, this plant, easy to grow again. It grows uh, slowly but steadily. And like I said, it blooms for a long period of time. So because of that long bloom period, I can also infer that the plant does grow for a relatively long time of the year if it's given water. Because it's in a very small pot, I have to water this plant about once or twice a week, spring through the fall here. I'm in Southern California, so here it's hot and dry, pretty much spring through fall. In the winter, it's cooler and wet. In the winter, I don't water this one very much, uh, if at all. Just give it just barely enough water to keep it from shriveling it away. But other than that, the rest of the year, it's once to twice a week. If I were to forget in hot weather, this thing would shrivel. And I have actually killed a couple of these because I didn't water them enough. But they're in small pots. So if you were growing this like in the rock garden, uh, in the ground or a larger pot, it could probably take longer periods between irrigation and hot weather. But again, no more than twice a week. And that's in hot, like 90 to 100 plus days that I get here. Usually it's just once a week. Um, and this is in partial shade because it grows in a grassland environment. It doesn't like being in super intense sunlight. So um, the skin, you can see here, the new growth is 
bright green. The older growth is kind of a darker color. Um, it likes to be kind of through filter light. This one is underneath some taller plants, so it gets filter light, but it does get that strong uh, bright light all day, but not quite direct sun. Nice little plant. Turbinocarpus pseudomacrocelli varminimus.